Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katie and I'm a stay at home mom of four. I also run the budget shop, Purple Glimmer Budgets, which is where you're gonna find a lot of the products that I use in my videos. You can find my shop on Etsy and also on my website, purpleglimmerbudgets.com. My husband and I are on a journey to pay off a lot of our high interest debt using the cash saving method as a way to control our expenses. If this is something you like to follow along with, just keep watching. unstaffing my three weekly wallets before I get into the video if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel I greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button I'm on a quest to reach a thousand subscribers and once I reach the halfway point I'm gonna do a giveaway on this channel um, also if you have a moment to interact with my content it could be something simple like a thumbs up or commenting on the video that's always appreciated I love the community that we're starting to build here and I love chatting with you guys and getting to know you so definitely drop me a comment below introduce yourself tell me something fun about yourself Okay, let's go ahead and get into the video and get these um, wallets unstuffed. Let me open up my iPad. I had it upside down. And let me wake it up. Okay, so here is my budget numbers for the week. And this is my spending tracker. Now, this is the digital version of my budget binder that I have in my shop. I plan on doing a deep dive into it and kind of revamping it. Um, so I think I just have one still up for purchase on my shop and I think it's going to actually be expiring here soon and not renewing. Um, so definitely look for me redoing this and kind of making it a little bit better. But for now, this is working great for me. So I just basically imported the PDF file into this and I use this to track. The information is the same on both pages. This is everything to the penny and then I round it up for um, my unstuffing to the up to the next dollar. Um, so I will go ahead and turn my iPad around and flip it into portrait mode and zoom you guys in so you can see and I can see as well. So let me see. I need to grab my calculator. I normally have it here, but um, my kids were cleaning up and so they put it somewhere weird. So grabbed it off my computer or off my desk over there. So let's go ahead and get to unstuffing and seeing what we have. Um, if I have to, I will tap into my dollar savings challenges or so forth to get going, but hopefully we have enough because I don't have a bunch of cash sitting out of my house because we're getting ready to go on vacation and I like to minimize as much cash as possible in the house. Um, normally I'll build up a stash of cash to kind of use through my stuffing so I can get a little bit lazy when it comes to going to the bank. It's not that far, but when you have four kids at home, it's a little bit challenging to try to get to the bank sometimes. So I try to hoard my cash a little bit and then like recycle it as much as possible and avoid going to the bank, but I will get to the bank to push it all into the bank for safekeeping while we're out of town. So um, let me go ahead and get some of this added up. Let's hop into gas because I think that's going to be the least complicated and I'm hoping um, I don't have to like break anything. So um, my husband filled up my car on Monday and then his car on Wednesday. My car will be what we're taking um, on vacation. So that's $96. So let's see what we have for gas. So... I have 20, 40, 60, 80, one, and then one. So let me see what I have in this lovely wallet as far as breaking things. So I like to keep my denominations, like the correct denominations in these savings challenges, but when I need to make change, this is what they're good for. So I'm going to take four or five, so five, 10, 15, 20, and then I'm gonna swap it for a 20 and make change this way and we are good to go there um so hopefully i don't make any mistakes um but in my last few videos i've been finding random money or accidentally unstuffing too much um let me put this over the side so we have 20 40 60 80 5 95 and then one so 96 is perfect. Let me double check. 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, and 6. Perfect. I'm really hoping that I break my streak of messing up my unstuffings and that this one I have the correct money. Um, so let's hope. Drop me a comment below. Do you think I'm gonna mess up again this week or do you think I'm actually gonna get it right this time? So in gas we have five, six, seven, eight, eight. 
Luckily, I've only been off around like $10, so that's not that big of a deal, but it would be nice to get dead on this time. So let me check off those two things. And then let's see. Kids frightens me, so we're going to hold off on that. Let's go into eating out. So 60 plus 90. We went to Chili's with my in-laws and then I have my husband's old co-worker was in town so we went out with her and her daughter. My kids love um, seeing them so that was fun and then the rest of this eating out was my husband and um, after my son's baseball game he took him and three of the kids to rallies so that's what this was. So we were actually under our normal budget of 200 so that's definitely exciting. So let's see. Minus 200, so I need 22. So 20 is in the wrong spot, so let's put this here. And then 20, okay, and then let's break that five with singles. So a bunch of singles here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then take this single five, perfect. And we'll put this back here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect. So this is fine. Just double checking here. And so I need 22. So here's the 20. And then we'll grab two singles. And we can check those off. So that was... 60, 90, four dollars, six dollars and 18. So we still have 22 dollars in eating out. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these two dollars over here. Um, actually, what I was gonna do is I was gonna go ahead and stuff those in my dollar savings shop, but to make this less complicated and less likely to mess up, I will save that for my stuffing. I will move those over in my stuffing to that savings challenge. So we will do that. So eating out is good. And then groceries, I think all I have is the 149. So let's take a look at groceries and see what we have. Again, this was also under budget. So I have 250. So we'll do the 150. And then I'll take a single back. And then that'll take care of the groceries. So I'm really excited. We actually did really well when it comes to groceries and eating out. That is definitely um, areas in which we really struggle. So I'm really proud of us for keeping it in budget. Plus I kind of played the mind game of, Hey, it's close to Friday. It's close to Friday. Let's just not do anything. So that kind of helped us keep under budget. So I do find doing this weekly stuff, um, does help me stay under budget. So I actually took that off already. Let's go into lawn care. Cause that doesn't frighten me too terribly. And it is for 160, which lawn care is actually in pink. You would think I'd have these memorized with me stuffing and unstuffing them as frequently as I do, but I don't. So my husband did actually write the check out of our account on the 4th. It's not cleared the account yet because they haven't cashed it, but I'm just going to go ahead and unstuff it anyway so that we can get back to the buffer. So I'm going to do the 100 and then 20, 40, 60. Perfect. So in lawn care, we still have 100, 20, 40, 50. 5, 60, 6, 7. So 167, so that would be like another bill's worth probably of lawn care still, so that is good. Um, I might need to start increasing our stuffing because like I said, our bill did go up. Our normal like weekly mowing or mowing session went up by like $5 this year. I think we are going to move on from them next year. Just there's a few things that they do that we're not super happy with. Um, we have a latch um, on our gate that we had a, that has a slider in it and it's really important for them to put the slider back properly because that prevents our dogs from being able to jump at our gate and opening it up by themselves and they're getting very sloppy about checking that and we've told them multiple times that this is very important if you don't do that our dogs could open the gate and run away and they actually have done that to us quite a few times in the past so um, we've made sure to make that a big deal and they haven't been doing that. Plus they're supposed to mow us on a specific day and they don't always mow it on that day. We don't really know what's going on and they're just not very communicative. So I think we might move on from them. So we gotta find um, new companies for next year. Um, let's see, 
Let's go to vacation because that one is also going to be pretty weird and I might have to use pets. So let's see what we have in vacation. So vacation has 173 plus 494. So 667 total. So let's see what we have here. So we have 100, 200, 300, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9. So 359 minus 359, hold on, 494 plus 173, 494 plus 173 minus 359 is 308. So let's put all of this over here. this and I'm just gonna write 308 for now because I'm gonna figure out where I want to steal that from later on um, I might hop over into pets here but for now I'm going to we'll check that one off as well and then that and then vacation is empty I might write an IOU for it we will see let me go over to pets and see what's going on there because part of this is our dog sitter, so I could take from pet care because I know it's very stuffed. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50. So 250. So I'm gonna leave the 100 placeholder. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50. So minus 150 is 158. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, okay. So let's put all those there. So 308 minus 150, hold on. 308 minus 150 is 158. So let me erase this. And 158. For now, we will come back to that and figure out where we wanna take that from. Um, let's see. Let's go to clothing. I got myself some uh, t-shirts because it's been a while since I've gotten myself some shirts. So I did that for our vacation. So let's see we have 20, 40, 60, 81. So that's that. And then I'm going to go in to some of my other spending categories like my spending and my miscellaneous. Let's go to spending for now. So in spending I have um, 50 so we're going to take this and break it into two fives and then I will put this so then this is the 125 so let me double check 20 40 60 81 25 so put this here and then let's keep this here And then the miscellaneous. So let's go ahead and wipe these out. So I have 20, 30, 45. So 158. 158 minus 45 is 113. So we will erase this yet again and do 113. And then did I check? Yep, I checked the clothing off. Okay. And then household. Let's go in there and hope we have enough there. So household is 28, so 20, 40. So then that would be 12. 40 minus 28, make sure you have 12. One, one, two. So we have 20, 30, 1, 2 in household still. And then clothing is gone. And let's see what this kids are, because I know it's quite a bit. I ended up having to um, buy some diapers. I'm actually gonna take that, I think, from grocery just because it's a consumable and consumables can fall under grocery. Actually, hold on. No, it's diapers, which can be personal care. Let's take from there. 
or at least part of it. So we'll take 20 from personal care and then so take two fives. So 27, 27. So now whole household has 25. So that'll take care of diapers. So I took 20 from personal care and then seven from household. So that probably makes a little bit more sense than doing groceries. And then kids, um, it is pretty high because um, swim lessons, I, that is something that I'm going to develop a savings challenge for next year because this year I had three kids in swim lessons and swim camp, well, two kids in swim camp. Um, and then next year I'm going to have three kids in swim camp for one week and then four kids in swim lessons. And so um, we try to do as many swim lessons as we can throughout the summer just to kind of get their strokes evolved and make sure that they're capable of swimming by themselves. Um, I did some competitive swimming when I was much younger. Um, so if they have too many swim lessons, then they'll just have a better stroke um, developed. So um, that's something that I've decided I need to do a savings challenge for because it's like well over $1,000 for all of that for four kids. So this um, this week is a lot of spending just because I did it kind of all at once. Now the 211 um, was swim camp, which wasn't technically due right now. I could probably have paid it next week, but I wanted to do it before I forgot. And then I had to pay the 247 to lock in their third session of swim lessons for this summer. So 458, so I'm terrified of what I'm, um, what I'm short on kids. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 25, 30, so 130, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 137 minus 137 is 321. So let's see what we have here. 25. And the seven. So 321 plus 113. So I need to find 434 somewhere. I have no idea where I want to pull that from. Let's see. Guess what I could do is take advantage of us being so under in groceries. So I'll take the 100 from groceries. So minus 100. So that's 334. So 334. And then eating out 20. Minus 20, so 314, 314. Let's see. Where do I want to take from? Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one minus 100 from Christmas. We have time to catch that up, so we're down to 214. I could take more from Christmas, but I don't want to necessarily do that. Let's see. So I have $214. I think I'm going to go ahead and write an IOU for that. Okay, so $214. So $214. And I'm going to leave this off the side. I'll put it back in kids, but I want to see if this balances first and if it doesn't then I will adjust my being off through the IOU because I've done a lot of like let's grab from here let's grab from there so if it's off it's going to be off because of this so um, let me add this up and figure out if I am accurate and go from there so I should have 1674 and it was 1888 total. So let's take a look and see what we have. So 
So there was a lot of spending going on this week. Actually, hold on. I like to count it this way better. I need all the help I can get to not mess this up. So let me just kind of get some of this out of the way and get myself some space. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 152, 53, 54, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. So this is a thousand. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85. So this is 1,500. And then I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 5, 35, 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that was forty. So that was forty plus fourteen is fifty-four. So I'm off twenty. Let me so I take and empty all of this stuff. empty Christmas is all of that so 113 plus so I took the 100 from groceries I took the 20 I take the 20 from eating out groceries Okay, so somehow I'm off 20, so that would be 34, so 234. Actually, let me just, the cool thing about this material that I use these with is I can actually literally just rub my finger over really hard on these and it rubs off. It rubs on my fingers, but it works. So we will do 234, so 1888 minus 234 is 1654, which that is what I have. So we will call it good. So we'll filter it through there. So obviously somewhere I messed up. So 1888 and then 1654 and then 234 is what I owed. 234 I owe you and we will put this in kids before I forget. That's what I'm going to owe it against. Okay, the life of me, I have no idea where I missed that 20. So I will have to see if I can find it when I edit. Otherwise, again, it was probably just some calculating error and we have that taken care of. So let me see. So in cash, it's 1454. Because in my titles, I like to go ahead and put the actual cash that is getting put back to the bank because these placeholders are already in the bank. So that's kind of how you can see um, in my videos what's going on. So again, I messed up for like the third week in a row. So hopefully next week we find. Maybe once I'm done with all these vacations, my head will get back to normal. Although the first week after vacation is always really crazy. So we will see. But Hopefully you still had fun watching me on stuff videos. I appreciate you guys supporting me in my journey, holding me accountable to um, answering to every dollar that I'm spending because it's like the touching of the dollars, even though I'm not spending it in cash all the time, just physically having to handle the cash makes me think twice about having to spend. So that's kind of why I do the stuffings the way I do. Um, so again, I will um, hope you guys had fun watching me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.